this is about Russia. Uh, they have come up with their uh, first um, non what is this called un uh, unmanned combat aerial mm, vehicle. I remember Sam talking about this one. Um, they they first saw it back in January of 2019. Mm. It's not expected to be fully a go until 2024. That's interesting. Wait, uh, how fast is the thing? So the speed on this is actually, uh, it goes up to, give me, um, what does it go? I, I had this, uh, it, uh, 620 miles per hour. 620. And it goes, and it can go as far as 3,240 uh, nautical miles. Nautical miles too. What is that normal miles? I don't, I don't know I, nautical miles. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, where's a pile? Okay, so let's assume. Okay, we'll just say just for conservative. But this, this is not the only press. That's not the only press. I'm, you know what? Guess how much this thing is designed to carry up to. What in weight? How much? 13,200 pounds. Wait, so we can do 3,000 miles of travel with 13,000 pounds of payload and weapons? Um, uh, munitions, including air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. Oh, my. So the interesting, obviously, the first thing is in an internal weapons bay. Sorry. That, no, that's I, I, so what I find the most fascinating about that is we're still trying to figure out how to make cars drive themselves. Yet now we can get planes <laughs> and there's three dimensions, right? So you don't have to follow lanes. Yeah. But dealing with three dimensions is way hard, especially at that speed is way harder than dealing with. Oh, there's a stop sign and a kid. And you know how heavy this thing is. Oh, and, and then you have to manage weight. You have to manage fuel. You have to manage. And I mean, again, and you, if, if that thing messes up, it's going to blow up and cause a bunch of problems. So yeah. you know what the scary part is? Like, technically speaking, given enough time and resources, a country could make as many of those things as they wanted. And they could just keep sending them. Once it's unmanned, you don't have to worry about training. Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about people coming back. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. But this thing, I can't believe how heavy this thing is. It's yeah. tipping the scales of at 20 tons. 20 tons? 20 tons. And it and it's airborne. How big is it? Is it this uh, is it like it's a it's a fighter jet, right? It's it's yeah, I mean pretty much. Here's like it looks like one of those stealth planes. Okay. So there's that picture and then here's another one here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh I'll I'll see if I can get a screen cap on. If yeah. you're watching if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see if I can get a screen cap on uh, um, during editing to try to to try to try to get wow, that that's crazy. So yeah, I mean, there's it, it, we don't have something. We are developing. Uh, a, it's called a loyal wingman. Mm-hmm. Um, so what that is is that it operates alongside crude fires, mm-hmm. fight. Oh, geez, fighters. Um, so it, it it's interesting. I know. Um, I got in a conversation. My cousin serves in the uh, army. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this, and a couple of years we talked about it actually a couple of years ago, and this was back. What Russia was saying, I forgot what they they came up with. They came up with something. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot what it was, but we got in the conversation about what America has done, and he goes, he goes, "There's really nothing to worry about." Um, what we've come out, I mean, to sorry, I'm jumping all over here, but to go off of what I'm saying. That we're coming up with that loyal wingman, semi-disposable drone, um, and the Navy is pursuing the MQ twenty-five H uh, Stingray carrier-based unmanned tanker. Mm-hmm. So they have an unmanned plane. We're gonna have an unmanned tanker. But we have what he was saying is a public doesn't know what the military really has mm-hmm. in the U.S. And I believe the U.S. actually keeps it a secret for a reason. They don't want the enemies to know. Yeah, what I've heard about a lot of the, the defensive systems that we have in place. Yeah. They can't test them. Right. Because if you test them, they might be seen. And then it's like, well, now you can get, a, you know, so. It, but well. he goes, we have, um, speaking with Sam um, outside about this, uh, he was telling me, and I don't, I forgot, I, I don't know what it's called, but he said we do have a weapon that shoots out uh, like so many missiles per second. Yeah. So he in it tra- and you can pro and you can have it track whatever you want. So something like that comes out, mm-hmm. that thing's gonna track it and it's gonna just shoot a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Through. My only concern would be is if they were to send like an, I mean that would be ridiculous and we'd probably catch on, but if they sent like thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Then if you don't need soldiers, it's just it's just copy paste. Yeah, but if you send thousands, thousands, it's not very stealthy, right? 
This is a stealth. This is true. This, this is supposed to be a stealth jet. This is true. Now we have our own stealth jet. It's not unmanned. Right. But we do have one of those jets. Uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, if I am wrong, guys, I am sorry for anyone that might know this. I, I'm pretty sure I've heard this though. We have a stealth jet that can't be uh, picked up. Yeah, on radar. The stealth technology is 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 quite phenomenal. So, and we also our drones, even though our, our drones are small, those drones are so effective. It's mm-hmm. not even funny. Oh yeah. Oh, they're no joke. No. I've seen, <laughs> I've, seen these thing, I've seen I've uh, seen on YouTube they have videos on this and you can actually see how these things work. Mm-hmm. Oh, those things can blow up anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. I couldn't believe this little this this drone. Uh, yeah, it's not little, but it's it's still not as big as that, right? right? Relative to and it, and the yeah. damage that it does, yeah, it, no. it's it's crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The next, uh, if, if I'm glad that we're don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not like a person that's like yeah war, but. I'm glad we're coming up with ways to keep the men and women safe. Yeah. And having other things to do than sending men and women right off in a battlefield and God forbid something happens, you know. Yeah. I'm glad that we're coming up with ways to keep them safe. Yeah. I mean